Okay, so I am Erin Fox. I'm here to talk about Storybook, a React Native love story, specifically how I used it recently at Major League Soccer and how we started dating and we really liked it and then we had a fight, we broke up and then we got back together. So it's gonna be a fun little journey of how uh, the love sprung. So um, my slides are at bit.ly slash storybook is love if you guys need to have a closer look. And if you're totally out of it and don't wanna listen, I also wrote a blog post on my Medium so it's pretty much exactly the same thing. So a little bit more about me. I hang out on Twitter often. I'm Aaron Fuchs. It looks like a spelling mistake, but Aaron Fox was taken. Um, I'm a software engineer, uh, mostly working with React Native, and most recently, thank you, um, <laughs> at Major League Soccer. Um, actually, I should say football because I'm here now. And I do admit I'm not the biggest football slash soccer fan, so hold all your burning questions for someone else. Um, but more importantly, we're here to talk about Storybook and how much I absolutely love it. Let me see. Okay. So if Storybook were to write me a love note, because most loves start with precious little love notes, right? It wouldn't be this, it'd be this. Uh, because the love is strong and real. But here I am talking about Storybook, this UI development kit, and you guys might never have heard of it before, have used it before, or need a refresher. So what is Storybook? This GIF is taken exactly from their docs. Storybook is a UI development environment for engineers to be able to build out this component library kit. Uh, in this example here, you could see all the stories or the components, and then when you click on it, it's rendered on the right. So it's a really great way to be able to organize and see all of your components all at once. So why did we specifically pick Storybook? There's a lot of options out there. Um, you could even not use it and just have your components in a folder, but we really wanted a way to have it organized and we were a very junior heavy team starting to build the React Native app, so it was a great way for us to be able to like pump out components. Uh, we mostly needed it too because we have all these different component states. There's a lot going on on this slide, but I'll walk you through it. So we're gonna talk soccer. So match styles. So we have a pre-match. Pre-match is like before the game's game match is starting. So you can see we have tickets, we have two games. Cool, we could craft that in the storybook. And then we have a live match. So when the match is actually happening, got some time, score, we have a post-match, and I think the thing that makes me the most mad about football slash soccer is nobody can win. Like, a final score is 2-2. I think that's not fun. Um, <laughs> but I guess that's just the way it goes. Uh, but it's, again, it's different from our, our previous ones. And then we have this random PK situations or penalty kicks, which have parentheses and leg twos and a whole bunch of stuff. I don't know, but it needs to look like that. Um, so we have all these different types of component states. Uh, there's also a whole bunch more, but for this match style example, we needed a way to be able to render these match states without having an actual mock data coming through. We didn't have time to be able to create a mock match, so we found that Storybook was the best way for us to be able to represent these. So this is an example. We did React Native Web, and then we did Storybook Web to start. Um, we were really loving it. So this is where the love started to grow. It was great for our entire team because juniors coming on were able to pump out components quick because we wanted to get the app out before um, the season was started. We almost did. Um, but you can see there's a head size, a jersey number, and all the lists of our other components on the side. Um, another example we have is our icons. And we really had this vision of creating these magical universal components to start with. So we did it a little bit differently. We started a brand new app, and then we were gonna go back and redo the website. So we were gonna create these components, plop it into the app, and then we were able to just plop it into the web app. Sounds really cool, right? Like probably possible, but we just couldn't figure it out in time. So we really ended up forgetting about Storybook because we were launching the app, there was so much going on, uh, a lot of YOLO moments, PRs, uh, stakeholders wanted performance to be better. So this is kind of like the downfall of our storybook love. We just kind of forgot about it, push it off to the side, 
It was, it was fine, it was, you know, we just were bored and had more important things to do. So, I found this great graph. It's a love graph. Um, time, love. So we had that honeymoon phase, it was great. We made so many components within Storybook. And then we had this little first fight, that big dip. It wasn't really a fight, it was more of like, I'm familiar with you, it's fine, let's just, you know, I got other stuff to do with my life. And then we eventually will find the love line, but I'll get to that in a moment. And I also found that people that use graphs in their slides look really smart and know what they're talking about. So we're gonna look at some graphs for, give me a little break. <laughs> 2010, yeah, good times. Yeah, is it inches or meters? I'm not sure. But I hope someone gets my photo, you know, because I really know what I'm talking about, hopefully. Uh, and this last one's my favorite. <laughs> so much information. Okay, but all jokes aside, we knew that eventually we were gonna get back together with Storybook. Uh, we actually, we definitely knew that we were gonna get back together with Storybook because we got a lot of user tester feedback and there's a lot of new components coming in from design and We've worked with it before, it was familiar, you know, when you're dating that person, you're like, you're familiar, I know you, like, we can work together again. Um, so that's what we really ended up doing, but we had a new vision and a new approach and we're a lot more organized when starting out. So this was our vision. We wanted to bring Storybook within the app and rebuild out new components. So we kept that old one kind of on the shelf and then we were starting to just kind of pump them out and build them within React Native. So we also wanted to declare the difference on our team across product and design about reusable, universal, and individual components. So depending on your team, but this is the way that we did it, we really focused on the reusable component. So a core, uh, core reusable component you use throughout the app. So if you change it one place, it will change it everywhere. Sometimes you might need an individual component. So that would be with its own folder. Universal component, we currently only have one of those successfully working at Major League Soccer. Um, but it was great for us to be able to get design to be uh, to speak in the components and product to realize, oh, can you just add a prop to this component? It was like, whoa, 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 maybe. But let us figure out if that's, uh, that's something to decide. So let's walk through an example. Um, we got a lot of Google Analytics back, a lot of user testers, and we found, we, they found, that um, that little block header at the top, this thing uh, was a lot of real estate. You can't even see it. It says Cincinnati next to all stories and that's supposed to be your favorite club. Um, that will change. So we found that users weren't swiping left and right. They were only scrolling up and down on certain of main core screens. So the design decided to redo that entire component and we decided to do that within Storybook. So, we use lovely Jira uh, to get our, our, um, our assignments, and this is our component kit we get from design. So essentially, this is gonna look exactly like Storybook, like that's our goal when getting designs. But a lot of conversation with design and product is happening here before we even open VS Code or our code editor. So we get to see what screens they're gonna be on, we get to ask what's the difference between these stars, they're very similar, and are they already made? Is this back, where's this back arrow go? So all of our questions are answered here. And then I like to kind of draw stuff out that never really ends up being what it actually is. Um, so I like to color coordinate. It didn't end up looking like this, left side, right side, but I think it's a good thing to point out to like think eventually how your component will be running and functioning. So it's a little side I like to add in. Uh, we also got it up and running in Xcode. Ooh, I should point out, all of my examples are in iOS, but this is equally done on Android and Android Studio. So just pretend like it's both, I guess. Um, but yeah, you can see we started building out our components. We have a small story card, a block separator. So the love was totally catching fire again. Um, we were able to see it and hold it on an actual simulator which is really great for any, everyone across our teams. So this is it. I think it looks really great, not just because I did it, but 
it, it's very organized and I like to organize things. Um, so it's great to be able to see all the props that we're using. And um, it was just a really smooth process. I think one of the things I like the most about it is in storybook in general is obviously the organization and the presentation of it. But um, I was able to pump out these components when I was learning React, pass them off to a lead or a senior engineer, and they were able to plop them into the apps where they go. So the whole team kind of had this great workflow, and everyone is happy with the work that they're doing in the different levels. We even got to do animations, and animations are hard. This one took me way too long. So if any of you that actually work on animations, so much kudos to you. you it doesn't even look like much. Can you see it fade? If you stare at it really hard, it fades. <laughs> yeah, that took like three days. <laughs> OK. So this is it. We were able to plop it onto the screens. Um, this little guy at the top, you see it's a lot more smaller. It was great to have Storybook, the story off and running in isolation because we're able to see um, hot reloading, live reloading, whatever floats your boat and not have to get the app up and running. So you want to look at a comparison. Yeah, obviously the right one's kind of old. But um, yeah, so it's a lot smaller. It still has the tabs depending on what screen you're on. And the bottom nav is so much better too. That was done in Storybook as well. Um, so great, great way for us to be able to go through our workflow. We also made this internal storybook link, which was a huge hit for design, because they're able to click on that and see exactly what components have already been created. Uh, if they needed to think of a new name, they could look here and see if one was already named, um, or if they just needed to add something to a certain prop or things like that. So that was a big hit. But we obviously have challenges. When you're dating someone, always you remember the graph up and down, like this may be a down moment. But um, many challenges with switching it to React Native, um, getting the entire team to follow the new steps. So it's kind of like you dated someone, and you're getting back together with them, and you have to convince your friends and your family. You're like, no, no, it's okay. You're like, we're gonna be, we're gonna, we're gonna do this again. Um, so getting the whole team on board, new documentation, setting up, getting GraphQL queries if we had the data available to um, populate within the component. Uh, we also still have that. React Native Web package, it's an NPM package that we use for our icons and certain headings. So that's a whole other issue that we haven't uh, figured out. But um, a lot of challenges along the way, but we found it actually made our development process a lot faster and a lot easier for us to view our components and create them in an isolated environment. So React Native plus love. So in the end, it really made our teams at Major League Soccer slash football focus and think all on the same page. Uh, whether it was like naming or certain props that we needed, or if it was a reusable, reusable versus individual component, we really found a good rhythm. And now we're pumping out components like every day or more. Um, so I would love to hear if anyone else has worked with Storybook before. If you loved it, if you hated it, love to hear. Um, but I think we have coffee now, so I will be out if anyone has any questions or just wants to chat. That's it.